Hello, my name is Silver Art Phoenix, and this is my unboxing of the Wonder, Worm, Wonder Woman uh, bombshell poster. And um, I received this a couple of days ago, and I just received today the Harley Quinn version. The Harley Quinn version is not printed on the same paper. I've noticed that the, the one she's printed on is a lot thicker. Although they are in the same size, it's 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. Uh, she's 90 centimeters long by 60 centimeters wide. They the, the the same paper is not it's not gloss this one's not glossy the other one is the Harley Quinn version is very glossy so actually I'm more prone to liking this one than liking the Harley Quinn one because this one is more d defined more um, the colors are less dark compared to hers um, the details show up a lot better on like on her gauntlets here they are quite detailed with the patterns um, this is the bomb shell series of characters from Marvel as well as DC that are based upon the 1940s, 1920s or 30s propaganda videos or propaganda posters of the Second World War. So it's in the top of it, it says she can do it if I can just move it up a little bit. There we go. Because it's not just being shown very well. Not all of hers in fact. There we go. She can do it. And you're not missing much down here. It's just the logo saying Wonder Woman and uh, the copyright um, of Warner Brothers are written on the bottom here. So, yeah, this is a bit strange. The paper is a lot different compared to each other. I don't know if it's because of manufacturing process or they chose a different person to print the Harley Quinn compared to this one. But this one is actually done a lot better. This one's more distinct. The details are less blurry. Um, I don't know, around her cheeks, as well as her jaw, it's more less blurry than the Harley Quinn one. So she stands out a bit more, especially behind, especially because she's on a yellow background. She stands out a bit better. Um, as you can see, she's there breaking chains. I don't know why she's got chains in the first place. Um, I don't know, that that's probably a symbol or something. I, I don't know why she's breaking chains, or is this based upon a comic? The thing is, is that there is a comic based on the Bombshell series as well as cards, playing cards, and they do have every image of the actual um, series, such as Wonder Woman and Catwoman, as well as Harley Quinn. But they also have She-Hulk. They also have. I think they have Poison Ivy. I'm not too sure. But the only two that actually do look kind of like the old 1940s, 1920s kind of propaganda video um, posters is Harley Quinn as well as um, Wonder Woman. But I think the Harley Quinn version is because it's a blow up, a blowed up version of her and they cut off the bomb. So if you get the poster with her on top of the bomb, it's probably a lot of, a lot better in um, quality than the, the, the other Harley Quinn one. I think it's in the same quality as this one, but I think that one goes for very, very expensive and it's very hard to find. Um, yeah, the, the cards are... I think the only reason why I'm cho I only chose these two posters compared to the others is because I think these two are done by the same artist and in the same style. The others don't look as eye-catching as these two. These ones actually have a bit more like nostalgic 1940s, 1930s kind of feel to them compared to the others. They feel more like 1960s to 1950s kind of drab, very grey, very dark. I mean, Catwoman looks like she's just sitting down on a chair. She's got a cat walking on, on her lap. It, it's You don't expect Catwoman to look that well defined and well kind of behaved. And so it's not the same. You'd see these two characters like Harley Quinn as well as Wonder Woman on the side of a, a bomber plane. You wouldn't see these, the other ones like Catwoman as well as She-Hulk on the side of a bom bomber plane. I think that was the whole reason for the Bombshell series was because it was very nostalgic and based upon the Second World War. So yeah, this is my unboxing and first look at, not first look, but my unboxing of the Wonder Woman Bombshell um, poster. It, like I said, it's 90 centimeters by 60 centimeters. And yeah, it's, it's very distinct. Uh, if I can close on, close in on her face. Come on, camera's not working. Oh, I really have to get a better camera.
There we go. This this version, she's not as pale, she's not as blurry as the Harley Quinn one. So I actually like this one a bit better because she's better um, printed than the other one. So my name is Sildar Phoenix and this is my unboxing of Wonder Woman, the Bombshell series. And I'll see you next time.